So it's about time I did a tasting video for this one. This is my first all grain batch, which is the Ellie's Brown Ale clone. And uh, as some of you already know, I I messed up and I used zinc washers. And uh, when I bottled it, it actually smelled kind of weird, kind of um, nail polish like, you know, because I know that I read that the zinc actually. Uh, if there's too much of it, then the yeast will go kind of crazy and make some a lot of off flavors and stuff. But after being in the bottle for you know a few weeks, it actually turned out pretty good. There's minimal, well, there's a little bit of uh, odd flavors I think, but it's pretty spot on as far as clone goes. Head retention isn't too spectacular, but I kind of expected it because the, the commercial version is pretty much the same. It doesn't have insane head retention, but it's got you know good a good look to it. So, uh, I'm going to try to use the flashlight on my phone to get to show the uh, color. The color is pretty good, and this yeast, the yeast sticks to the bottom of the bottle, so I really don't have any in the glass after I pour it, which is kind of cool. Never used this dry yeast before, so. Okie dokie, let's see. have it. Uh, some good carbonation coming up, about maybe a finger of uh, khaki head. Toasted. Yeah, caramel and chocolate and biscuit like aromas. Let's see if I can get this uh, working. Come on. I don't know if you can see the color or not, but uh, yeah. it's pretty spot on as far as color goes. So, whatever. All right, let's try this again. Caramel, chocolate, biscuity, nuttiness. I think there's. Maybe some fruitiness from the yeast, for sure. Nothing in particular, just kind of fruity. Good balance. Yeah, it's pretty good. Nothing, nothing offensive at all. Yeah, that's good. Real, real, real biscuity and nutty with with chocolate and uh, caramel notes as expected. But it's really it's the biscuity nuttiness of this flavor in the flavor is really a bit above the, the chocolatiness. But it's still got good balance and it's still really enjoyable. Yeah, that's just that's really good. I'd say um the the hoppy the hoppiness and the aromas is a little bit it's a little less than the commercial version I think cuz I I had a bottle of it a couple of days ago and it was a little bit the the fuggle sops actually were a little more prominent in there but I mean overall this is this is a really close example of the clone so and it's really clear really clear beer surprisingly good Yeah, definitely. One, this is one of the, one of the best batches I've made, probably, despite the issue or the errors that I made with the, uh, the chemistry of the mash, as they say. But um, really happy with it. And the two cases are going to be not sitting around for long because they're it's really good, and I'm sure I'm going to share it at the homebrew tastings and stuff. So pour has car been carbon for about a week now, or almost. Yeah, I think about a week because I bottled it. Yeah, I bottled it last Thursday, so before I went home for Memorial Day weekend, and it's been in my keyser, sitting at a comfortable 70 degrees exactly for the past, you know, weekend and 
couple days. So I'll try it next uh, next week in the middle of the week or something to see how it's doing. The the work tasted really really good, so I'm I'm having um, high hopes for that one. Uh, it hit about 1021 final gravity, so it's about 6.5 percent, and it's going to have a real multi uh, backbone to it with that gravity as a final gravity. So it's going to be real good. Uh, other than that, uh, I hope everyone on Brew Tips is having good brews because I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to brew next, but uh, it's probably going to be for a competition or something. I think they have a rye IPA and I might, uh, I might try to do something like that because I've been wanting to try a couple of hops I haven't used before, so hopefully I can find them and then I'm going to use them in that brew and see how it turns out. Cheers.